We start with the Division Three game, last year's state runners-up, Poultney. Looking to finish the job this season, they are taking on BFA Fairfax Lamoille. They were the ones standing in the way. And after an early bullets fumble, Blue Devils cash in. Levi Allen straight up the gut for the touchdown. Poultney strikes first, 7 to nothing. In the second quarter, Devils knocking on the door. Caden Catman looks like he stopped short, but he keeps the legs churning. He's in for the six. Poultney up 14 nothing at the half. In the third quarter, Fourth down for the Devils. They bring out with Brian Alt for the field goal. Knocks it up through the uprights. Three points. Makes it a 17-0 lead. They looked comfortable, but in the fourth quarter, Bullets looking for a spark on offense, and they get it from Jackson Scharschmidt. Takes off down the sidelines. He would be gone. Three quarters of the field. That's 75 yards. Fairfax finally on the board with a two-point conversion at 17-8, but they still need more. Fourth and goal for the Bullets in the final minute, and the Devils' defense stands strong. Poultney hangs on. And for the first time in a dozen years, they hoist the trophy. Well, we knew it was a tough one, and we were real upset. And this year we came in, we knew it had to be physical, and we just wanted to play the best game that we could. And we came today, and we finished it. The senior class last year was a big part of where we are now. They pushed us every day, and that's what they, they made. They, we, we stayed hungry. That's all it was. With that, Poultney captured its first state title since a 2007 victory over Windsor. Game one of the day had the unbeaten Brattleboro Colonels taking on a rival in Bellows Falls for that D2 title. First Colonel drive of the game, they're backed up on their own two-yard line, handoff to Chris Frost, who shoots up the gut, practically untouched, and he is off to the races. Nothing but turf ahead of him, 98 yards to the house. That sets the tone for the day. After a Terrier turnover, Colonels get the ball back and take advantage. Frost again, his second touchdown of the quarter, and he alone has helped his team out to a 14-0 lead. Early second quarter, Bellows Falls responds with Jed Lober bursting into the end zone and cuts that deficit in half, 14-7. Now we have a bit of a ball game. The Colonels, though, have an answer all afternoon. This time, Tyler Milrick takes the snap, keeps it himself. He's going to weave his way in for six more points for his ball club. And then just before halftime, Brattleboro adds another score for good measure. Millerick to Henry Thurber. Colonels up with 33 points in the first half. They coast home for their D2 title. You know, it's history being made. It's, it's insane. It's really cool, and it's something definitely I'm going to be looking back on in 50 years, and I'm sure the community is as well. We went out here, like you said before, 46 years since we've won. Now we got a championship under our belts. Hopefully we'll get some more kids to come out and play football next year and years next and then so on. The new division for the Colonels as they take home their first ever D2 state championship.